Hello everyone. I, Manisha Bansal, is here to sort out the problems of my children of class 8 as lockdown period is going on in all over India. So I am here to help my children with some of their queries. Yesterday, children, as I have given you some assignments, some homework and you people were asking from me regarding the word problems which are given in chapter 1 in our DEV publication book, chapter 1, worksheet 4. You people were asking, Ki, ma'am, we are not getting the sums where we have to subtract or add. Okay, let us start with the number. Let us start with the sum. Children, uh, uh, actually we are having the two types of sums which must be subtracted, which must be added. I want that I should solve both of the sums with the same number so that you may be able to get the difference. Okay, what is the exact difference? Okay, so uh, as in my previous videos, I have told you that I am trying that my children should be confident. So that's why I am taking the worksheet sum, same from the book, right? So today I am taking the sum from the worksheet 4. Worksheet 4. And I have taken sum number 2. Clear? The sum is find the least number which must be subtracted from 6203 to obtain a perfect square. Which must be subtracted from 6203. First of all, I am going with the same sum. Okay. They are saying subtraction. Uh, one more thing children I want to tell you. There will be four types of sums. Sub, what must be subtracted, added, multiplied and divide. Students are getting confused in these sums. Children, to find the square root, there are various methods. But the most uh, method which we are using, that is a long division and a prime factorization. And if we have to find the number which must be subtracted and added, mind it, which is subtracted or added then we have to use long division method which method long division method and if we have to find out why multiply or divide it then we have to go with the prime factorization method and students are doing the mistake so please keep this thing in your mind right prime factorization method so today we are going along with this what must be added or subtracted means we have to follow we have to follow yes long division method correct and the number which is given here is 6203 the foremost work the four, first step is to make the pairing from one season done and i hope so you people have practiced many of the sums with the long division now you people know the steps I think that I should not speak on the calculation parts now. Anna? Okay. It will be 62. Means I want the number here and here. Uh, means I want the perfect square which is less than 62. So which are the perfect squares? 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49. After 49 it is 64. Means 49 is less. Means 7. 7's are 49. Clear? 62 minus 49 or either single digit also you can take you can borrow here it is to be 12 or 12 minus 9 it will be 3 and 1 and next pair i have to take that is 0 3 the step is same now 7 plus 7 i will do here 14 and again my i am just giving the suggestions to my mass children children don't skip your rougher column so it is 14 here and i want the number Yes, I want the number which is less or or see the question is saying to me that what must be subtracted? I have to go with the subtraction. In subtraction, I will do usually which we are doing in the long division means I have to search for the number which is either equal or less than 1303, right? Means I have to play something here so that I may be able to get the number which is less or equal to 1303 right we try with the 7 7 7 is 49 9 4 it is 7 4 is 28 and 4 32 2 and 3 it is 10 okay now let me try with 8 
eight eight sir sixty four four six here eight fours are thirty two thirty two plus six thirty eight it is eight here and eight ones are eight eight one and three it is eleven okay and uh, let me see with nine also nine nine sir eighty one one eight nine fours sir thirty six thirty six and eight Forty four 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 carry forward again nine ones and nine in four is thirteen. Okay, means this is the greater number. Means I have to go along with this. Okay, I'll place eight here and I'll place eight here and I will place the answer here. That is eleven eighty four. Now children, please pay your attention here. Please pay your attention here. So listen to me. See, it is three. Means I have to do the subtraction. Um, borrow. I'll borrow. It will be thirteen. Thirteen minus four. It will be nine. Nine minus eight. It will be one. Then it will be two. Two minus one. One. Got it? Okay. Now nothing is here which I can take the pair or the number here. Nothing is here. Na? Means this is the remainder left with me. Now concentrate on the statement. What they are asking? They are saying. Find the least number which must be subtracted from this given number to obtain a perfect square. Means we want the perfect square from this number, but something extra is added here which we want to subtract. Clear? Now see what we will subtract. Whatever the remainder is left here, this is extra number because till this number we are getting the perfect squares. Everything perfectly. Hello. Means this is the extra number. Means this should be subtracted. It means one hundred nineteen should be subtracted from six thousand two hundred three to make it a perfect. Square. Clear. Sometimes the sum is up to this sentence only that we have done. But sometimes, as in your book, one more sentence is written. Also, find square root of the number so formed. Also, find the square root of the number. It means the number will be given. Now, see, I'm doing for you. I have just uh, hide my rough work here. See, it means now I have to subtract uh, this 119 from this number. Yeah, no? Means 6203 is the given number, and this 119 is extra. Let me subtract it. Okay, this is three. Uh, I'll borrow it. Thirteen, thirteen minus nine, it will be four. Nine minus one, it will be eight, and it will be one, and it will be six. No, it will be zero here, huh? No? Yes, it will be zero here. Means it is six thousand and eighty-four. Now they are saying also find the square root of the number so obtained. This is the number obtained. This is the number of ten. Means we have to find out its square root again. Okay. And children, when you are calculating the square root, please have your attention on the symbol of the square root. This is a square root, and this is the division. Which sometimes students are getting confused. They are just mixing it. Students, this is a sign of division. This is a sign of division, and this is a sign of the square root, and we have to use this symbol in the square root, right? Again, the pairing. Okay, this is sixty, and the perfect square less than sixty is again forty-nine, as we have done here. Steps a little bit will be same. Don't worry. Seven sevens are forty-nine. Sixty minus forty-nine, it will be eleven, and it will be eighty-four. Seven plus seven, ah, fourteen. I have done the rough work here. See, it is eleven eighty-four. It was divisible by eight. Okay. See, there is no remainder. Means now this is a perfect square. This is the perfect square. Got it. Children, as in the started. 
in the starting i have told you that i will do the same sum with both of the methods suppose if you will get the same question that what must be added what must be added then how you will do this question see same procedure let me do this question once again for you i am just uh, skipping it right 6203 ठीक है जी सेम पेयरिंग दिस विल बी 7 7s are 49 and it will be 1303 and it will be 14 चिल्ड्रन सी आई एम हैविंग दिस क्वेश्चन हियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन सबट्रैक्टेड मींस द एक्स्ट्रा वी हैव सबट्रैक्टेड क्लियर ठीक है नाउ वी हैव टू ऐड ऐड मींस समथिंग व्हिच वी नीड सी Here we have divided by eight. We have taken the digit eight. Now we will take the next more digit, which is nine. See, we have done with nine also. One thousand one hundred forty-nine by nine. It was thirteen forty-one. One thousand three hundred forty-one. Okay, means it will be one thousand three hundred and forty-one. Now. One thousand three. This is a bigger number. One thousand three hundred forty-one minus one thousand three hundred three. One thousand three hundred forty-one minus one thousand three hundred three. It will be how much? You can do as you people are doing in your junior classes. Do the subtraction. Borrowed. It is eleven. Eleven. Eleven minus three. It will be eight. It will be three. Means thirty-eight. Means this is thirty. It means what does it mean? It means that thirty. It is the number which you need more. It means, it means, it means thirty eight should be added. Thirty eight should be added to six thousand two hundred three to make it. A perfect, a perfect square, right? So six thousand two hundred three plus thirty eight. It will be one four two six. It will be six thousand two hundred forty one. And if I will go with the same question, ki now also find the square root of the number so obtained. So let me once again calculate the square root of this number. Again, pairing seven seven sir forty nine. This is thirteen one forty one, and it will be seven plus seven fourteen. So I'll place nine. Nine here, nine nine is a eighty one eight. Yes, we have done here one forty nine nine is a. This is thirteen forty one, which is same. Yes, the mean there is zero. So if the question is, if the question is that what must be subtracted in case of subtraction. In case of subtraction, we have to do usually as we are doing, and whatever the remainder that we have to subtract. And in case of the addition, we have to go with the one number more, with the one bigger number, and whatever the difference is that we have to add in the given number, and whatever the number obtained will be there, then find the square root, and it will also be the perfect square number. Children, hope so. You have got this question, and this question is in worksheet four, as I have told you previously, in worksheet four in DAV publication book. So please, please, please do these questions. Practice for it. Be more confident. And again, if you're having any query, you can call to me. Don't worry, children. Again, it's my request. Utilize your time. All the teachers they are sending you the learning material. Please go with it. do the work hard mathematics is a subject which needs daily practice which needs daily practice so if you will practice daily you will get more best of luck children thank you